It's the New Republic E-Wing and Shin Hati Starfighter sitting on the Wicked Brick stand. Let's make some awesomeness together.
Now there's three reasons I bought this set. First reason, I didn't have either one of these ships. And as a collector, you know, that gets to you. Second reason, I love the design of Shin Ha T Starfighter. It, it gives me an old World War II plane vibe. And uh, even as a young kid, I was really into model planes and aviation. So I really enjoyed that. Third reason, you can't get these two minifigures in any other set. And any LEGO collector and Star Wars fan has got to have Balin Skull and Shin Hati. Uh, they were excellent characters in the Ahsoka show. Um, <clears throat> we're going to miss Ray Stevenson. He was a great actor. He did a great job as Balin Skull. But you just can't get these two minifigures anywhere else. <clears throat> and if you like Ikea, you, you get an Ikea droid. <sighs> but let's get to the ships. The ships are, are very well done. Um, the design on them is actually spectacular. The E-Wing, why it's not my favorite wing, it, it's definitely a good job. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good job on the design of the E-Wing. And as you can see, it, it's just an excellent setup with the Wicked Prick stand. I mean, you can't go wrong with this display. Mm -hmm. Wicked Brick did an excellent job for a chase scene with this stand, and it just looks phenomenal. Each ship by itself wouldn't look as good as both of them displayed one chasing the other. Now, I give this set an 8 out of 10, and the reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because for some reason, lately, LEGO has decided that... We're totally going to mess up the whole cockpit scenario. Now, when you stick Shin Ha T in her Starfighter, and it's the same with the E-Wing, and I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what I mean. We stick Shin Ha T in her Starfighter, and where is Shin Ha T looking at right now? <clears throat> Because she's not looking that way. She's looking that way. Um, this isn't the Slave 1. <laughs> uh, Lego could have simply put an extra block on each side, raised the whole top part of this ship. It still would have looked legit, and Shin Hati would be facing forward. <clears throat> the same thing goes for the E-Wing. If you put the pilot in the E-Wing, he's going to be looking this way and not that way. That is my only complaint about this set. Other than that, this set would be a 10 out of 10. But i got to give you my honest opinion. And putting the minifigure in a ship she's supposed to be flying, why it looks like she's taking a nap, it is just not, it, it's not kosher for me. It's, it's not a, it's really just, I, I would have to say either we're, we're trying to make it minifigure scale maybe or they thought maybe the curvature on the side of the ship wouldn't look right if it was a little bit taller and she was sitting up straight but i i just feel that they could have done something an extra line of single bricks down down here red or gray transferring from red to gray i don't think it would have took anything from the look of the ship and it would have had the minifigure sitting up straight now for me, Shin Hati will not be displayed in the Starfighter because I have the Wicked Brick stand. It comes with the minifigure add-on, which allows me to display all the minifigures in front of the stand. So, <clears throat> the fact that she lays down in her Starfighter will become a distant memory after this set's placed in its final location. Now let's talk about these minifigures. Our astromech painted in IKEA colors. Now as astromechs go, I think it's I think it's a pretty cool astromech. I like the color combination. I'm sure we've all seen the memes 
especially with the new astromech coming out and the rebuild the galaxy um x-wing tie fighter set and it's got mcdonald's colors so I'll have to get that set eventually when it goes on sale because I've got plenty of TIE Fighters and X-Wings and I really don't need a set where you change the wings out on them. But the minifigures are new, so I'll get that set when it goes on sale. We have the E-Wing Pilot. The printing on this Pilot is very nice. The helmet especially. They did a great job on the helmet. <clears throat> the back printing is nice. I mean, it, it is basic but it's better than just a white back. Now, let's move on to Morgan Elsbeth. She doesn't look happy. She's not a happy camper. She's a great minifigure. Um, I love how they still do the curvature piece for the base of any uh, character that's wearing a long dress or gown. Balin Skull. Just phenomenal. The printing on Balin's skull, I, I love how they did it. The chest piece, the belt, uh, the legs, all phenomenal. They got his beard and, and look down pretty good for a minifigure. I mean, they they were spot on on Balin. <clears throat> his back printing is also phenomenal. So is Shin Hati's. They pretty much share the same back printing, just different color combination, different belt. It's, it's relatively the same design. High lines on the outside that move down towards the spine. <clears throat> Shin Ha Ti, excellent minifigure. Her hair's a little crooked right now. There we go. Uh, her, her chest, her torso print and belts, phenomenal. Her leg printing is, is definitely, definitely decent. And I've got Balin Skull's lightsaber upside down. I like to put the air bubble inside the hilt. I got his upside down. We'll have to figure that out. We'll have to switch that out later. And another, another thing about Wicked Brick stands and cases, the plaques that they come up with is just definitely a plus for me with this company. Yes, it takes forever to get your shipment because they make they make everything to order. They're in um, they're in Europe in the uh, in London, I believe, or very near London, Cambridge. Uh, so it does take anywhere from six to ten weeks to get your stand or your case. But it's made to order, and I have never had, never had, not once. I've never had an issue with Wicked Brick. Um, their designs are always top notch. They always pay attention to detail. They give you quality acrylic. Um, all the pieces fit together precisely. I mean, you literally have to use some strength to, to set them in correctly and, and put them together properly. And, and you'll know when they're together because you'll hear a loud pop. Uh, the only issues I've ever had is sometimes shipping, maybe something will be cracked or chipped. Um, I contact them within 48 hours, send them pictures, and they literally send out the replacement piece within five business days. Their customer service is top notch. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Wicked Brick. The downside is if you live in the States, you're going to wait six to 10 weeks to get your order. Number one, they're all made to order. And number two, they are a popular company. Why they are constantly growing and expanding the demand for their products is just so high that sometimes it does take the additional weeks. But one thing I was always taught is quality is worth waiting for and quality is worth putting the time and energy in to keep. So Wicked Brick, I'll always love you. I'll always love your designs. I'll always love your products. And I'll always, always purchase from Wicked Brick. Well, I give the set again an 8 out of 10. We do not like our pilots laying down in the cockpit. I give the Wicked Brick display stand a 10 out of 10. It just literally takes this set to a whole nother level. And now the set is in its final resting place. <laughs> I would say permanent, but it's a Lego room that's running out of room, so it could change. Uh, right next to Ahsoka's T6 shuttle. 
yes, I'm aware that Yoda Starfighter has nothing to do with that series, but the size of it allowed me to put it in between the two to try to save some space, because let's face it, I'm running out of space. <sighs> Definitely running out of space in Lego. Uh, I'm not paid or sponsored by anyone, but I am a Wicked Brick affiliate. Uh, every case or stand in this room comes from Wicked Brick. Um, there's a link in my description. If you're looking to buy some Wicked Brick products, please use that link because at least 50% of the commission I get from those purchases gets given away on Instagram. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.